All right, well, you received a Grammy nomination for Studio Engineering on Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon. How soon into the recording process did you know that this record would soon be on everyone's heavy rotation for eternity? <laughs> um, I, I think we, we recognized that we were making a great piece of work, um, certainly Pink Floyd's best uh, record to date. But um, I, I don't think any of us were, would have really predicted that I'd be talking about it 45 years later, you know. Really? <laughs> it, it, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. I mean, um, I'm, I'm so proud to have been a part of it. But uh, no, 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 one, no one knew that it was going to absolutely uh, hit the roof like it did. Well, with all the audio treats layered on that record, I think you guys should have gotten a piece of all the headphones sold in the 70s and 80s as it was the method to listen to that record. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's it's, it's uh, funny how uh, so much music these days is being heard on uh, on on pretty pretty awful sounding headphones. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm all for hearing uh, music on good headphones, but not nasty little white earbuds on on iPhones. You know. Yeah, those are nasty. I do not like those. Uh, that's for the record. <laughs> 